Hello, everybody. Long time no see when it comes to food, right? Um, yeah, like I said, I fell off. Just needed some time to get back on. And I'm about to get back on. So today was a good day. I did have a protein smoothie. Um, with a banana. I'm trying this new milk called Moala. It's their banana milk. And I got the chocolate one. Uh... So I use that. I am incorporating fruit into my diet. Um, I never really stop. So I'm going to continue to do that. Um, so I guess you would say I'm more, instead of keto, low carb. Um, I do need my fruit. Uh, so tonight's dinner, this is for my son. He's having these colorful carrots, coin carrots from Trader Joe's. And then some shrimp fried rice. So let me show you. So these are how they look. I put some butter in the pan and just, you know, letting them cook. It says let them cook for like four to five minutes. And that's going to be his dinner unless he wants a salad as well. And then here's his uh, shrimp fried rice that he wanted. So this is Trader Joe's fried rice. And then um, some shrimp I ordered, I got from Crab Cow. And I just added it in seasonal. Rice was almost finished cooking. I added the shrimp and let them cook down together. And I did season the shrimp with Old Bay, um, but I seasoned the rice with some uh, sea salt and pepper. So that is his dinner. So for me, I'm having some pork chops. Um, Y'all know I get my meat from Crow Cow, so these are two bone and pork chops. The one side I season with my sea salt. All seasoning and black pepper. The other side I seasoned with this. It's my first time trying this. So I didn't want to season both sides with it until I know if I like it. I'm going to bread it with my pork king pork rind crumbs. I got two more jars of this coming. And then so to give that fry type crispy, I'm going to spray it with this avocado oil and put it in the air fryer. I'm also going to have me um, some carrots. You can get these from Trader Joe's and Sprouts. I got these from Sprouts. Basically, I slipped the end of it off, put it in the microwave for like four to five minutes and to soften them up. And then I put them in the um, pan with some butter. I season them up and just toss them. This is a new butter I'm trying. It's a goat's milk butter. And it's pretty good. I used them to make me a, um, some eggs or omelet yesterday. And then I'm going to have me a salad. So I got my uncured job bacon i'm so mad that they haven't had that back in stock for a couple of months now so it was the only pack i had um i got these from natural grocers so i'm gonna use these they're sweetened with apple concentrate apple juice from concentrate i only use maybe less than an ounce my romaine lettuce i'm gonna have in it my boys and cheese a couple of um tomatoes some onion and then these are my little cucumbers. Ooh. So here's what my pork chops look like. Sorry for the noise. Um, I think it's so sensitive. But this is um my pork chops. I put the rest of the little pork cane crumbs on them. Spray them with the avocado spray. And now I'm about to put them in the air fryer. This is my pork jowl bacon. It wasn't even burning, and it was the thing was going off like it was. But I'm gonna chop to put that in a food processor to chop up. So this is my salad. I just gotta mix it all up. But um, this is the salad dressing I'm using. I like Cindy's Kitchen. It ain't probably the cleanest, but it's good enough. Um, these right here really taste good. Um, the nutrition facts is for a fourth of a cup. What I got in here don't even measure on the scale that I got. It's probably less than an ounce. So, it's not all of this. <laughs> uh, I'm trying this new hot sauce for my pork chops. Hopefully, this is good. It has really, Siete has really clean ingredients. They're grain-free. They're chips. They're taco. 
shells and their uh, taco seasoning I do use um, or you can use red hot but I'm gonna see how this tastes but girl these lemon limes oh my gosh they are so good these are sweet limes I got these from Sprouts they says I never taste the Mexican lime but I love lemons and it does have like a honey taste to it. It's not tart at all. It says these may not to be mistaken for lemons. Yellow, they're yellow hued. Sweet limes are ripe for picking and eating. Sweet limes, low acidity, makes the citrus flat on the palate, which it does, with subtle, subtle, subtle tasting notes of bergamot and floral sweet honey. Oh my gosh, and they're not lying. I just cut a piece off and squeezed it over my salad, but I tasted it. And this is the size that I had. These are really good. Wow. Okay. So here's my pork chops. Of course, I had to taste them, and they are delicious, I will say. So my dinner is done for the night. One bowl now. I got my salad right here, my carrots, my pork chop. This is the butter I use to saute my carrots in. That's what color it is. Um, and this is the brand Mayenberg Goat Milk Butter. I got this from Natural Grocers. This is what my bacon looked like once I got it out the food processor. So I will use this for my salads during the week. And that is it. I'm gonna have me some sparkling water with some lemon for my drink tonight and I'm good so everything is low carb keto approved on here peace have a good night don't forget or a good day don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like it subscribe click the notification bell so you know when I uh, do what um, post or upload, go check out my new car vid and go check out my Prada sneaker review, which is my first purchase for 2021 as far as sneakers goes. I'm out. Deuces. Hello, hello, my people, rich gang in the house. Today is Monday, the 22nd. Y'all, I'm getting my life back. I'm, I'm coming around. I'm coming around. I did a, um, an hour bike ride to my girl Christina Guyrod. If y'all not familiar with her, look through my Instagram. You'll see her tagged. She's on um, uh, YouTube where she gives you free uh, spin and weightlifting classes. You know, she records herself. So I just vibed out um, to her for an hour on the bike. Uh, my body feels good, a little sore, but it feels good. Um, for dinner right here, I have me a loaded salad with my romaine lettuce, um, onion, t uh, cherry tomatoes, avocado, bacon, cucumber. Uh, did I say onion already? I squeezed some lemon juice over it and then my uh, salad dressing. And then I have here turkey burgers with mozzarella cheese mixed in and Primal Kitchen's unsweetened ketchup. It is really good and made with great ingredients. And then I have some uh, heirloom green beans right here. Um, I never tried this before, so we're going to see how it tastes. I tried a yogurt yesterday that was a coconut. I threw that mess in the garbage. It was disgusting. So, I've never seen this one or tried it. I forget where I got this from. It may have been Sprouts. Why are my fingers flashing like that? Um, oh, it's the TV. But it says it's keto friendly. Less sugar. I don't know why my camera is doing that. Um, here it goes. So, these are the new the, uh, macros. Some people may think six grams of sugar is a lot, and it can be if you strict keto. 
Um, carbs is low. It's only 8 grams of carbs, so it's pretty low. Maybe that's what they mean by keto-friendly. Uh, it does have cane sugar, so uh, I don't know why these companies will put keto-friendly when it's actually not with cane sugar. Some people don't do the natural flavor. I have to have some flavor, vanilla or something. I can't do plain. If I do plain, then I have to add some fruit and doctor it all up and stuff. So take the good with the bad, but I'll let y'all know how it tastes. And then I have some orange bits, some uh, orange over here. And so if um, I get hungry later, it is actually 7.51. I'll probably have my collagen coffee. Um, I'll go make it in an hour or so because I didn't have my collagen today. So I'll do that and I'll be done for the night. Maybe some pistachios and I will be done for the night. So I will see y'all on Tuesday. Peace.